Congress delegates authority to administrative agencies to establish and administer government policy in their various areas of expertise. Agencies establish policy through rulemaking or adjudication. Can a court dictate to an agency which process to follow when the agency introduces a new approach? The Second Circuit thought so in Bell Aerospace v. National Labor Relations Board. The National Labor Relations Board determined that 25 employees of Bell Aerospace who worked as buyers in Bell's Purchasing and Procurement Department constituted an appropriate bargaining unit under the National Labor Relations Act and ordered a union election. The buyers had significant discretion in purchasing supplies for Bell, including the authority to select prospective vendors, evaluate bids, and negotiate prices and terms. Buyers also had the responsibility to ensure contract compliance and settle any disputes. The buyers voted to join a union. Bell refused to recognize the union on the grounds that the buyers were managerial employees and therefore not protected by the Act, also known as the NLRA. In deciding that the buyers were covered by the NLRA, the board relied on a recent opinion in which it overruled a number of its previous cases, holding that managerial employees weren't eligible for the NLRA's protections. In that case, the board ruled that only those managerial employees with responsibility for management policies regarding employment and labor relations were excluded from the Act. In Bell's case, the board concluded that even if the buyers were managerial employees, they were protected by the NLRA. The board issued a bargaining order instructing Bell to negotiate with the union. Bell petitioned the Second Circuit for review of the bargaining order, and the board filed a cross-petition for enforcement. 